Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today we're going to be reacting to what came before Dharma and is Dharma the same as religion? So uh, as far as my understanding of Dharma, Dharma is basically your what you're supposed to do in life, like a father, a son, daughter, mother, sister, brother, um, your job, whatever it is in life that you I'm, that, that's the thing I'm not exactly quite clear of. Your title like father, mother, daughter, son, whatever, is something that you don't choose. It is something that kind of comes to you. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be either a daughter, uh, daughter or son. Uh, you're going to be potentially a mother or father, uh, a best friend, a friend, um, a stranger. All these things are going to be something that's put upon to you. Something that's not given or chosen by you. I guess friend friend is kind of a chosen thing. <laughs> but um, like other things like, say, a lawyer or a football player, uh, you know, these things are these dharma. If I'm understanding dharma correctly, it's basically your role in life, in a sense. So let's go to get started. What came before it, though? We had the luxury to look inward and look deeper into the nature of reality. This is how the journey began. You must say, when did we actually start to have something called Dharma? When did it start? How did it start? This is how it started. The idea was this. Here are human beings in, in the Indian subcontinent trying to make sense of the world they live in. What is the nature of reality? What is all this? Oh, how can I make sense of the world? Oh yes, this is called wood. Oh, wood burns. Oh, this is called water. It flows. So the first word we hear, starting this tradition that we belong to, is the word Rita. Not even the word Dharma. The first word was Rita. This is how things work. Wood burns, water flows. So this is how we started to make sense of the world that we live in. The beginning of, if you like, knowledge regarding nature of reality. Just making sense of the world that we live in. What is this? What are the, what is in the how does the, How do things operate? The word was Rita. Then this word, then we came transformed into the word that is the central word of the Indian religion, not just Hinduism, all the Indian religions. And the word is Dharma. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to go a bit more of an explanation that one. I didn't think it literally just meant what came before Dharma, and that is it. Okay, that was not much. So it was the Rita. Let's go back. I mean, I knew it was short, but I didn't think it was that that short. <laughs> that up uh, and Sarita, the world, bef uh, the word before Dharma. Uh, oh, let's go. I'm starting to hear tradition where it belongs. The word. So wood that burns, water that flows. What is, it? What is this? What are then? What is involved, and how does it? do things, operate the world, has, I was Rita, then the word became transformed into the word, the central world, central world. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense, so re, re, like, I guess we would be Rita as well, humans, uh, we, the body would be, because the actions, the role is the Dharma, so the water is to flow. Um, the water is the Rita, and the flowing is the Dharma. It's one of the Dharmas. Uh, again, was it wood is the Rita, or the, was it the wood, or is it the trees? Um, oh, wood. Yeah, wood. So, wood is the Rita, and then burning is a Dharma. Not a good Dharma, I guess. I don't know if Dharmas are good, necessarily good or bad, but, you know, burning, I mean, technically we burn too. <laughs> Not a good thing, <laughs> but yes, again, it is it is an action or a role. Anyways, I, I, I don't know if necessarily, I, I think it's a role. As far as I've heard and people explain, I know uh, Dharma has not been explained very much, but I do want to get to know that word a bit more because I do want to use that in my way of explaining things, especially to people who understand this. And I think this is, if I understand this correctly, 
this can be a very good way to help people. It's, how do I say, um, uh, let me try to explain it as best as I can. So basically a best friend, dharma, that's a dharma, if I, again, if I'm understanding correctly, um, just be a best friend to your friend, you know, you know, you don't have to be anything other than just that. Play that role exactly as it is. How you are, that's how you got that role. It's because of who you are and how you uh, acted with your friend. So it's your responsibility to continue that action, whatever it is that gained you that role. <clears throat> if you being brutally honest to your friend and telling it like it is got you that best friend role, then continue that role to the best of your abilities. If <laughs> Let's go throw in a little joke here. You know, you when you're a father, I don't know if you want to keep on doing that thing to continue to be a father, <laughs> having multiple, multiple children. <laughs> but obviously, once you're a father, it's just having one child and continue to be a father to that child or a mother, a sister to your brother or brother to your sister, etc. And just continue that role. You don't. It's not something that you necessarily have to think about. It is merely just being you in some sense actually being you and being you in that role all right i'm gonna pause right here and we're gonna get into is dharma the same as religion which with my explanation i mean not really i'll be right back all right is dharma the same as religion i uh, don't think so honestly dharma seems more like a role and being a religious person is Dharma as opposed to the religion itself, I think. Again, if I understand it correctly. Let's go ahead and play. It's a really short one. <clears throat> The word Dharma comes from a Sanskrit root, Dara. So you're making this strange say, what is holding everything together? What is behind this universe? What is going on? What is, who am I? What is the nature of reality? Let's make sense of the world that we live in. What is holding everything together? Dhara. From the word Dhara, we derive the word Dharma. This is the origin of the word Dharma. Now let me be very clear. Dharma is not same as the word religion. You think, you know, somebody says, oh, Dharma means religion. It's not. Thankfully, it's not. Religion is an Abrahamic term that developed in the Middle East. And the, the word, word religion means, oh yeah, you know, we know what? Humanity is linked with some super person in the heaven called God. And relationship between God and humanity is called religion. Realigning humanity with some super personality called God. That is the enterprise of religion. And the three religions that are very popular, of course, are Judaism, very ancient, Christianity, and then Islam. Now this is in stark contrast to what was developed in the Indian subcontinent. Making sense of the world that we live in. What is the nature of reality? Who am I? What am I doing here? What is going on? Dharma. This is the definition of word Dharma. Making sense of our human condition and resolving it, sorting it, sorting ourselves out is the definition of the word Dharma. And this is why impo very important. It's not the same as religion. As you said, one chap is missing in the definition of word Dharma and that chap is called God. It's so, all. We are supposed to be religious people. We are dharmic people, making sense of our human condition, understanding the nature of reality is the origin of the word dharma. You see, that it's important for you to make that distinction. And why it's so important? There are four dharmic traditions. They came out of India and they're very powerful. Of course, the most well known is with the word that we use Hinduism. Second is Buddhism. Then there is Jainism. And there is Sikhism. You know, people who wear turban and beards. These all four religions are called dharmic tradition, making sense of the human condition and resolving it, sorting ourselves out. Like in Buddhism, there is no God. In Jainism, no creator God. And yet, dharma, same word. So you must make this distinction. <clears throat> uh oh, did I uh, misunderstand dharma now? I am, uh, I'm a little worried. Well, my, my, uh, my uh, statement still stays true. Now, whether it is that Dharma or not, it's a different story. <laughs> um, I definitely got to Google Dharma. Let me, let me go ahead and Google Dharma while I try to explain things anyway. Um, but yeah, I still believe in the fact that Dharma... <laughs> um, 
nature okay in buddhism the nature of reality regardless as a universal truth thought by buddha the teachings of buddhism aspect of truth or reality in indian religion the eternal and inherent nature of reality regarding in hinduism as the cosmic law underlying right behavior and social order okay so it it, it i'm maybe right in some sense um because again an inherent nature right behavior and social order so social order and right behavior you must behave according to your if you're a father you must you must behave as a father if you're a brother behave as a brother a friend as a friend so i can see it being seen that way and and so i did understand it for the most part right all right so again i, I still do believe in that I, I i knew that dharma wasn't a, necessarily a religion i can see some people seeing it that way because it's a role that you must play but i believe it to be more of a role than a belief and again uh as a matter of fact i was actually thinking about this before looking at this video so it's just just um it's just the sure fact that my, the beliefs that i have never re i mean didn't really fit into western religion but did fit into hinduism quite well <laughs> uh but again like i said i've never i've heard of hinduism buddhism jainism sikhism um jainism i think i said that uh but didn't know anything about it just knew it was a religion in the east but yes so I, I guess that's all i have to say about this there's really not too much to say he didn't really explain very much and there were quite short videos um anyways let me know what dharma means if i got it right i mean you say you got it right or you don't have to say anything at all but if you, if it's explained differently to you let me know because I'm, I'm wondering how these are explained in probably different parts of the world or maybe how people interpret it differently because I can kind of, jeez, <laughs> excuse me, I can, I can see it being interpreted a little bit differently, but yet having the same meaning. So anyways, that's my reaction to, is, what, is it where it came before Dharma, and is Dharma the same as religion? If you like my content, please consider subscribing, thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next vid.